Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. <laughs> Today we're gonna have a quick look on how to install Batochera on your Steam Deck. Uh, my nose is a little stuff, I'm kinda sick, so sorry for that, um, I do apologize. So, of course we'll need a micro SD card. I'm using a 64 gigabytes. I do believe anything 16 gigabytes and over should be enough, and it goes without saying, the bigger the card, the more games you're gonna be able to fit. For my personal needs, 64 gigabytes was more than enough, and quite frankly, it's what I had on hand quickly to get that tutorial going. It's overall pretty simple, uh, nothing too complicated here. So of course, uh, you're gonna need a reader to plug it to the computer. So once this is done, you wanna go on the Bato Chairs, Bato Chairs, <laughs> you wanna go on the Bato Chera website, sorry, a little hard to pronounce, and you want to go to the top right on the download tab and just download the um, the image. Now the image will come in a zip format or a RAR format. Um, so what you want to you, you want to use something to extract it. I recommend using WinRAR. You can't really go wrong with that, and that should be more than enough to get it sorted out. Now, before you go in format. Uh, which is essentially what we're going to do. You always want to make sure that your micro SD is empty, that any important documents have been removed, because as you'll see in a moment, once we wipe the card, uh, it'll, once we install Batochera, I'm sorry, it will wipe the card clean. Now, the other thing you're going to need is Rufus. So, when getting Rufus, I recommend the portable version, this way you don't have to install anything. Now, once you open Rufus, you might not see your, your micro SD. If you don't, make sure to click on the show advanced settings and just check that little box where it says show USB drives and it should appear right up there. You wanna go grab the ISO where you've saved it. I've saved it on my desktop and of course I've extracted it first. So once extracted, we are looking at a 6.5 gigabytes. That's why eight gigabytes is really too small so 16 and above should be fine. Now, once you have selected, once again, as a warning, you wanna make sure that there is nothing of importance left on that micro SD card. If there is something that is in there and you don't wanna bother deleting it, technically that's no issues because Rufus will wipe the micro SD clean. But if you have any important documents that are in there that you haven't saved, well, you're about to lose them forever. So make sure that there's anything nothing of importance left on that micro SD. And once you made sure of that, you just can click start. Again, it's gonna warn you that it will delete everything on the device. You can push okay, and it'll start the installation. Now that takes a couple of minutes. So of course, through the magic of editing, we will speed up the process and be right back once it is done. And it's like we never left. Okay, so now that it's ready, make sure to eject your U micro SD the proper way. And once you have it out, of course, you want to put it into your Steam Deck. Now, <clears throat> sorry, once the card is in the Steam Deck, uh, the way to power it, the way to boot it, I'm sorry, is you want to hold the plus key. Uh, actually, you can hold the minus or plus key. They both work, but the plus key is... The one I prefer gives you a more in-depth menu. From there, you use the boot manager, and you wanna make sure to grab the SD card, because uh, that's what we wanna boot from. And when you use, you put that, you should see the little Bato Cheddar uh, header, and it'll boot right into the system. And there you have it. From there, of course, there's a lot more that can be done, but uh, for today, we'll leave it at that. I'll let you guys explore the OS. There are a few uh, games, uh, a few homebrews pre-installed into the OS, so it's kind of neat to try it. And as always, uh, piracy is not condoned. Uh, you should always use your own copies of your games and so on and so forth. All right, so thank you for watching, and I hope this was helpful. Y'all have a good one. Peace.